जय 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 महादेव जय 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 महादेव शिव शंकर आदि अनंत शिव शंकर आदि अनंत जय 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 महादेव नमस्कार नमस्कार टू ऑल ऑफ यू वनकम एल वनकम तमिल मकल तमिल मकल तेमा नोयले सिकूड़ा यार देर इज अचुशन इन दंट्री विच इज दायर ग्रेम वी कैन यूज ऑल द वर्ड्स thousands of people are dying instead of complaining we need to understand no nation on the planet can provide medical infrastructure to all its population at once right now this is what is happening too many people falling sick there is not enough infrastructure to meet that well too many people are busy giving commentaries about how we are ill equipped and this and that well would you prefer to build endless number of hospitals when everything was okay instead of building schools roads ports whatever else the nation needs so we must understand this is not a time to go about complaining criticizing wasting our breath on anything other than positive action i know right now the word positive has become negative but action should be positive your covid test must be negative <laughs> this is very important well as uh, isha meditators and volunteers and many others who support us in various different ways it's very important that at a time like this you must understand the significance of the practices that have been taught to you maybe you never saw these yogic practices in a way that you thought it will uh, spiritually enhance you maybe take away your backache or headache or improve your performance in day to day life variety of other things but you might have never looked at it as a life saving device but that's exactly what it can be if your practices have been normal and are, you know you're keeping it on all the time definitely your body will take this uh, the ravaging that virus may cause much much better than most other people being in touch with the earth being in touch with the elements and uh, the yogic practices along with that could make a huge difference so at a time like this those of you who know the benefits of this it's in it's very important that you must keep up the practices that's most important every one of you must spend at least 90 to 120 minutes per day doing some practice either surya kriya or shakti chalana kriya shambhavi if not anything else at least the simha kriya all these practices make a difference especially those of you practicing shakti chalana kriya there will be a massive difference in your system in the very way the body arranges itself so keeping up the practice is very vital and uh, also this is the time i am well is not good enough because everybody around us are ill means uh, one way or the other they will give it to us so it's important everybody around us is also well so for this 
the simple tips for immunity, what we have given out in terms of how to eat food, simple practices to do about sashtang, about simha kriya, uh, all of you should take it up. Don't leave it to the foundation. All of you should take it up to see that each one of you that, you know, you, you make sure, you, you spread it to as many people as possible because this is a time this is most needed. This is not a time. Pandemic, one thing the pandemic is doing to us as is, it is uh, <laughs> what I was trying to do all these years. Your individuality is a myth that you have created. There is a universal nature to life. Well, this virus is giving you teachings that uh, I have been giving, but you know, you've le learned to ignore many things, but here you are, the virus is teaching it in a very virulent way, unfortunately. But I'm saying this is the time to learn how connected life is. This is not something that you can think you're, you're in isolation and uh, everything will happen to you separately because you got a few things organized. That's not how it works. So, spending a certain amount of time every day, at least... at least you these tools, you spread it to three to five people per day. If you have more capacity, please do that, at least a minimum. If you don't have any contact, still you can spread it to at least five people a day. This is very much possible. And uh, International Day of Yoga is coming this year. It... it rises to a completely different significance altogether. The significance of yoga, the yogic practices in the world will go up significantly. So online, we will be offering uh, yoga vira training processes. Please go through this. I want thousands of you or hundreds and thousands of you to go through this and make sure it is offered to as many people as possible because you need to understand. Well, I don't want to be a doomsayer. I never am that. But uh, not confronting the realities for what it is will be a foolish way of addressing life. I've been talking to various uh, scientific, uh, you know, people of science in this uh, area and many important doctors in the world. From what I gather and also I've been saying this myself because from the basic uh, nature of what's happening, it's simply common sense also to see this that this virus most probably will not be over either this year or next year. Very easily, it can run to four to six years before this pandemic becomes an epidemic. That too, if the world invests enough and we are fortunate enough to come up with a very efficient treatment protocol, till that happens, this pandemic can keep coming back in waves as you see from the first wave to second wave, that uh, viruses come back much more equipped to harm us than what it was in 2020. This 2021 virus is almost doubly or triply effective in terms of uh, causing harm to human beings. And uh, in 2020, we had an assurance that below a certain age, young people will not be affected but it is no more so. So many people in their twenties and thirties, unfortunately, have lost their lives. So, virus will... may get better and better. We have to get better, this is very important. The solution is not elsewhere, it is with us, because this is a virus where the sole carrier is the human being. It is not mice, it is not mosquitoes, it is not birds, you know, all these years, fevers have been coming, we are thinking it is chicken flu, it is this flu, it is that flu. This is nothing like that. This is essentially carried by human beings. So, human beings are the only solution. Conscious, responsible human beings are the only solution, really. Otherwise, wave after wave will keep coming back, could decimate human populations, disturb our life, the way we have known it may be completely a thing of the past if we don't take care. And uh, it's very, very important that every one of us must understand our responsibility in not only supporting ourselves and ensuring we don't get infected. This is a fundamental commitment everybody should take. I will not get infected. 
if I do get infected, I will ensure it doesn't go on to one more person. Now I get COVID and then I... Uh, you call your children and you know, like uh, you get COVID and then you call your children and your spouse and you get emotional and you hug them and uh, love, you know. Love is not going to save us. Sense is the most important thing right now. In a situation like this, it is sensible, responsible, conscious behavior which is going to be the winner of this. There is simply no other solution that anybody has come up with. We have only learned to postpone. Vaccination is a good way to postpone, but vaccination also is not a permanent solution. But at this time, it is very important that everybody gets vaccinated. There's a whole lot of people who are internet scientists who are picking up bits and pieces from all over the place and talking about all the different negativities of vaccination. I want you to understand every vaccination you have taken in your childhood of uh, diphtheria, of uh, smallpox and whatever else you have taken, all of them had an element of harm, an element of risk in them. But we took them, it's because of that most of us are alive today. So the same goes for this vaccine. Does it have an element of risk? Yes. but it has been substantially established, the element of risk is minuscule and it is worth neglecting it right now because right now the risk of infection and fatality from that is much, much higher. We need to understand health is not an absolute thing. Health is something that we achieve incrementally. So the same thing goes for the vaccination. Right now, vaccination is a must for everybody, nobody should g uh, evolve philosophies of anti-vax. This is just rubbish right now, putting everybody's life to risk. Well, if you want to be anti-vax, go and live on a Himalayan peak where you are not in touch with any human being, it's fine. But if you're living in a city, town or a community, you must take vaccination right now. Is this a final ultimate solution for this pandemic? No. At least it will give us a break off six to nine months, we can postpone it. In this postponement, probably a little more awareness and consciousness will come and we clearly understand the risk that we're putting ourselves into and putting everybody else around us. Especially in the yoga center, there are many people who are over sixty-five, seventy years of age. As I've told you, all the young people there, it's your responsibility to ensure that we will not have a single fatality in the yoga center. I want that commitment to spread to the rest of the meditator community. You have to ensure you will not die and nobody around you dies. This is the only way. This is the only way. There is no magic wand solution anywhere. This is the only way. And this may be a long haul. How long? We don't know. But it could be a very long haul. It may change the very way we exist on this planet, it's possible. Or if virus just decides and just fades off, as sometimes it has done in the past, some of the viruses have done that. If such a thing happens, well, we are very fortunate. But if such a bonus comes our way, we will definitely enjoy it. But right now, thinking of such fanciful dreams is not the right thing to do. It's very, very, very important. Everybody must see how to bring aspects into their life, how to eat properly so that our oxygen levels and immune system is good, how to live properly so that our oxygen levels and immu immune system is fighting fit, and how to do what practices to do to achieve the same thing. This should be the focus right now and the whole country or the whole world should move in this direction and International Day of Yoga is coming, it is very important that all of you become instruments because you are not just teaching a simple practice, you could be saving their life. Please make this happen for yourself and everybody around you. This is the time to stand up and show what kind of human beings we are, what are we made of. This is not a time for frustration. This is not a time for depression. This is not a time to become... Uh, come into a state of despair. This is a time to stay calm, to stay equanimous and do the right thing. The right thing is not a spectacular heroic act. 
right thing is simple. Wearing a mask is not heroic, but it is heroic, believe me. Keeping social distance doesn't look so spectacular, but it is a spectacular act because this can save your life and everybody's life around you. Please, these things you must maintain. Having been on a spiritual path, claiming that there is awareness in you, that you are spiritually oriented, if you can't manage these things, it means nothing. All spirituality will mean nothing because you will be risking your life and putting everybody else to risk. So it's important that uh, in different regions, meditators organize support groups, and in the support groups, it is not a must that everybody must be a meditator. If you make them do Sema Kriya, they have become meditators, all right? Do not think meditator means they must have gone through an engineering program. They are doing uh, Simha Kriya, they watch three videos, they are meditators for us, or they did nothing. Still, if they are willing human beings, they can be part of this and uh, ensure that we are able to facilitate a few things. We are not doctors, not all of us are doctors, not all of us are in the administration to do some significant things, but wherever facilitation is missing. Right now, the biggest problem is the number of medical personnel we have is not enough for the number of people who are falling sick. When I say medical personnel, don't think only of doctors. The most important care workers in this are the nurses and the next level of paramedics who are there, because they are the ones who can do this work. Because there is no diagnosis involved, uh, just a test is negative and all the symptoms are there, everybody knows what the symptoms are. So, you d there is not too much work for a doctor, except in emergency situations. Largely, it is nursing work. I'm saying all of you in some way can very easily learn a few things, that when there is an emergency, when somebody gets sick, should we rush everybody to the hospital, not necessary, or can we teach? all the families around us as to in case it happens to your family, what are the things to do? Because panic, when somebody in the family gets sick, the panic is causing, costing uh, too much for the country. Somebody panics and they rush their people to the hospital, whether they deserve, uh, whether they need, deserve is not the word, I'm sorry, whether they need the hospital bed or not, whether they need the oxygen or not, family will demand, we want oxygen, we want bed but somebody else who really needs it may not get it because somebody else who could manage without it, unfortunately, is occupying the bed. But this is happening out of emotional reactions for family well-being. So, educating people, we will put out more and more notifications, make sure this reaches maximum number of people, educating people how you can nurse a COVID sick person at home without taking it Beyond a limit, what are the things you can do, what support you can get, because more and more people get treated at home, more and peop more people are nursed to health at home, will be a simple way of avoiding thousands of deaths which are happening in the corridors of the hospitals. This is very, very important. This is a responsibility that all of you should take it up. And uh, we will see in the region how uh, the Ishangas can come and organize or by uh, video or audio, they will organize these things for you, help you through this, but form self-help groups of your own, so that among yourself, there is strength, there is no panic, there is no sense of being lost, uh, you know, uh, lost in this world by yourself. There is a community around you, strong, to willing to support you on all levels, and uh, we will see what we can do, and of course, uh, we've released a little bit of uh, fund, but this will not be enough. Please, those of you who can raise fund, crowd crowdfunding, whatever other resources, please do whatever you can because there is much to be done, particularly in the rural areas which doesn't come into media glare, but there are people there. There are more people in rural India than in urban India, so there are real people there and their lives are also at risk. Fortunately, Generally, they are far more resilient, their immune systems are better than the city people, but still this does not mean they are not at risk, because deaths are happening in rural areas also. So, we want to see how we can support this uh, not so 
uh, privileged society in the country. And uh, this is also the region of the country where there is not too much medical facility at all. Most of the India's medical facility is in urban areas. In rural areas, there is very little. And uh, educating that population, ensuring it doesn't happen uh, in any big wave, doesn't happen through this, is important. This taking care of the rural uh, population is very, very, very important because uh, one thing that needs to happen, whatever pandemic is happening, crops must be planted on time, harvest must happen on time. If this doesn't happen, then nation will go into another level of crisis of food shortages. Once it goes there, it will become uncontrollable. So we must ensure the rural population is healthy and well, so that agricultural patterns are not broken, that it continues to happen the way it has been happening. When the monsoon comes, they must be ready to plant, they must be healthy to do it. This is very important for the survival of this nation at this point, that we have to ensure rural populations are doing well. The youth among us, we will see how to organize them. Maybe we cannot do it all over the country, but definitely in Tamil Nadu, we will see how to do, maybe we can extend to one or two more states, if that is possible. There are various things, uh, as you have seen, heart-rending uh, scenes uh, in the news channels of uh, people uh, either taking their uh, sick family members from hospital to hospital to find a bed, not finding it, or people taking the dead relatives from place to place, not able to find a place to cremate them. So, uh, uh, we will see how to organize this. If necessary, if uh, things are going that bad, we would like to organize makeshift cremation grounds somewhere close to the cities, where some, with some dignity uh, this can be handled. We can teach the volunteers what are the simple things they can do for a dead person and be able to provide this cremation service. Uh, this is not a time uh, to think of expenses. We will see how to organize this, it shouldn't cost us too much, but it is important that the dead find some dignified closure so that the family doesn't live in that pain for the rest of their lives. It's very, very important to provide this service. We are seeing what we can do. In Chennai, we are organizing a few vans to ship the dead, similar things if you want to do in other cities. We can see how to support you. And uh, one more important thing is the medical uh, teams are stretched beyond their limits, physical limits. So we are seeing how to do this. In each city and in each hospital, it may be a different situation. Particularly, we want to focus on the government hospitals, where the facilities for the doctors may not be as good as it is in the private hospitals. At least, you know, through the day and night, if we can provide Something as simple as tea and biscuits, just a place where somebody will smile at them and serve them a cup of tea and uh, they can't smile back at you because they're in a PPU suit for twenty-four hours, many of them, I want you to understand. Except for this leaping time, they are in PPU suits all the time. Those of you getting frustrated with the masks, I want you to understand what is the condition of the medical people, medical personnel who are standing up for other people's lives. They are in a PPU su PPE suit through the day. I, if you don't understand what I am talking, our own doctors in the ashram are in the PPU suit almost eighteen hours a day. Please uh, understand what is the difficulty as summer begins to warm up or heat up, which already it is. The PPE suit is uh, nothing short of hell, but unfortunately, they're uh, in that K state, and fortunately, they're willing to do that, still doing it. And doctors in the last fourteen months, doctors and nurses in the last fourteen months have been stretched to their physical limits. It is time we support them in whichever way possible. It is time, whichever way you can think of, I'm just saying a few things. I just spoke about tea and biscuits. You can support their families, you can see if you can cook for them, you can do something for them. Whatever we can do, wherever we are, we must do it. This is the time. This is the time to show our humanity because this, how well we come out of this, 
not de does not depend just on the government, just on the organizational capability of the state. It is important how each citizen behaves and I expect that those of you who call as Ishas, those of you who call yourself as spiritual people, I expect that you um, show different level of responsibility and commitment for all the life around, uh, around you, including your own. This is very important to do this at this time. <clears throat> there's any question, please. Once again, I'll repeat this for you. This is a fundamental commitment everybody should take. I will not get infected. If I do, if it so happens I got infected, I will ensure I will not give it to even one more person. This commitment, if all the citizens take it, we will stop it in its tracks. Please, if there's a question. Namaskaram Sadhguru. In the Maru Savar and a son and lending and good at the Kadim Kumar Peri or a Varaprasa the Marcre in order to help Kumaran, now Salem London Vandrukan in the soon and lay in the Yolan or Kun and a green Sadhguru. Is the land of life every plan when it no one from the Valley got to Murima? Nandri Tamil Makal Kelame, Vanakum Ipana Mirkur, soon and lay. இது மூணு நாளில் போயிடும் மூணு மாதத்தில் போயிடும்னு சொல்ல முடியாது உலகத்தில் பல விதமான ப பல முக்கியமான விஜ்ஞானி கூட எல்லாமே நான் தொடர்பு வச்சு பேசியிருக்கிறேன் யாருக்கிட்டையும் இதுக்கு பதில் இல்லை யார்னாலேயும் இது எப்போ போயிடும்னு சொல்கிற ஒரு திறமை யாருக்கு இல்லை சில பேர் சொல்கிறாங்க நாலுலேருந்து ஆறு வருஷம் ஆகும் சொல்கிறாங்க சில பேர் சொல்கிறாங்க இது தொடர்ந்து போயே இருக்கும் சொல்கிறாங்க சில பேர் சொல்கிறாங்க தானாகவே ஏதோ ஒரு நாள் போயிடும் சொல்கிறாங்க நீங்கள் எப்போ போயிடும் என்ன ஆகிடும் இது நமக்கு தெரியல முக்கியமானது என்னென்னா இது நாம் ஏதோ நமக்கு ஒரு சளி பிடிச்சி போன மாதிரி விஷயம் இல்லை இது இது தொடர்ந்து நம்ம பின்னாடி பின்னோக்கி வர்றதுக்கு வாய்ப்பு இருக்குது இப்போதுக்கு இந்த ஒரு நிகழ்ச்சியில் இது தப்பிச்சுக்கிறதுக்கு ஒன்றும் நாம் வேக்சினேஷன் எடுத்துக்கணும் கட்டாயமாக எல்லாருமே இன்னொன்று நாம் மாஸ்க் போட்டுக்கணும் இடைவெளி வச்சுக்கணும் நமக்கு இருபது இருபதில் வந்தால் இந்த வைரஸ் அப்போ சொன்னாங்க ஆறடி இருந்த போதுன்னு இப்போது வந்திருக்கிற வைரஸ் இருபத்தி இருபத்தொன்னில் வந்திருக்கிற வைரஸ்ஸு பன்னெண்டு பதினஞ்சு அடி வச்சுக்கணும்னு சொல்கிறாங்க எனக்கு தெரியும் இது எவ்வளோ கஷ்டம் இருக்குது வீட்டுக்குள்ளே வெளியே நம்ம தொழில் இருந்தாலும் ஏதோ ஒரு வேலை இருந்தாலும் இதெல்லாம் எவ்வளோ கஷ்டம் இருக்குதுன்னு எனக்கு தெரியும் ஆனால் இது நம்ம செஞ்சே ஆகணும் இல்லைன்னா நம்ம உயிருக்கு நம்ம சுற்றா இருக்கிற உயிருக்கு பாதுகாப்பு இருக்காது எவ்வளோ பேர் உயிர் போயிடுச்சு இன்னும் தொடர்ந்து போயிருக்குது இதில் ஒரு முக்கியமான விஷயம் என்னென்னா நாம் இந்த ஒரு உறுதி எடுக்கணும் இந்த வைரஸு எனக்குள்ளே வராமல் இருக்கிற மாதிரி நான் பார்த்துக்கிறேன் அந்த ஒரு உறுதி எடுத்துக்கணும் இன்னொன்று எனக்கு வந்துருச்சு நான் ஏதோ காரணத்தினால இன்னொருத்தருக்கு அது போகாமல் இருக்கிற மாதிரி க இன்னொருத்தருக்கு அது போகாமல் இருக்கிற மாதிரி கட்டாயமாக பார்த்துக்கிறேன்ற ஒரு உறுதி நாம் வச்சுக்கணும் இப்படி நாம் எல்லாமே ஒரு உறுதி எடுத்தால் அதுபடியாக நாம் நடந்தால் நாம் இந்த வைரஸ் கண்ட்ரோல் பண்ண முடியும் என்னத்துக்குன்னா இந்த வைரஸு ஒரு எல்லினாலேயோ இல்லை ஒரு கொசுனாலேயோ இல்லை ஒரு பறவைனாலேயோ இது பரப்பில்லை நாம் தான் பரப்பிருக்கிறோம் மனிதனே பரப்பி பரப்பிருக்கிறதுனால மனிதன் உறுதி எடுத்ததா இது நிறுத்த முடியும் இல்லைன்னா நிறுத்துறதுக்கு இது வாய்ப்பு இல்லாமல் போயிடும் இதனால் நான் இது முதல்லேருந்து சொல்லி வந்தே இருக்கிறேன் எல்லாருமே நீங்கள் யோக பயிற்சி பண்ணணும் ஆன்மீகத்தை வளர்ச்சிக்காக மட்டும் இல்லை உடல்நிலை உறுதியாக வச்சுக்கிறதுக்கு தேவைன்னு சொல்லியே வந்திருக்கிறோம் இப்போது விஜானப்பூர்ணமாக பலவிதமாக சொல்லி வந்திருக்கிறாங்க இப்போ இந்த சிம்ஹ கிரியா இந்த சாஷ்டாங்க இதெல்லாம் பண்ணால் ஒன்று நம்ம ஆக்சிஜனில் நம்ம ரத்தத்தில் ஆக்சிஜன் அதிகப்படுத்த முடியும் இன்னொன்று நம்ம உடலுக்குள்ளே வெளியிலேருந்து வந்த ஒரு ஆக்கிரமிப்பு நாம் தடுத்துறதுக்கு தேவையான சக்தி நாம் உருவாக்கிக்க முடியும்னு விஜானம் விஜானி எல்லாமே பலவிதமாக 
எக்ஸாமின் பண்ணி சொல்லியிருக்காங்க அதுலேயும் இந்த சிம்ஹ கிரியான்றது ரொம்ப முக்கியமாக இருக்குது இதனால் நாம் இது எவ்வளோ நாள் இருக்கும்னு கணக்கு போடுற பதிலாக நீங்கள் போய் ஜோசிஷ் ஜோ ஜோதிஷம் கேட்க வேண்டாம் இதுக்கெல்லாம் ஜோதிஷம் எல்லாம் வேலை பண்ணாது ஜோ ஜோதிஷம் போய் கேட்டு இது எவ்வளோ நாள் இருக்கும் எப்போ போயிடும் இப்படி வேண்டாம் அது இருந்தாலும் சரி இல்லைனாலும் சரி நாம் பொறுப்பாக விழிப்புணர்வாக வாழி இது ஜெயிக்குவோன்றது நாம் உறுதி எடுத்துக்கணும் இது மட்டும் இல்லை நாம் எல்லாமே போய் இந்த கோழி கூடில் சேர்ந்த மாதிரி இப்படி போய் ஒரு நகரத்தில் எல்லாம் இப்படி சேர்ந்துட்டோம் கொஞ்சம் நாம் யோசித்து பார்க்கணும் சில பேர் நகரத்தில் இருந்தே ஆகணும் எல்லாருமே நகரத்தில் இருக்கணும்னு தேவையில்லை இதுக்காக நாம் யோக மயத்தில் கூட பலவிதமான வசதி இப்போ உருவாக்குறதுக்கு ஆரம்பிச்சுருக்குறோம் இன்னொரு ரெண்டு வருஷத்தில் இன்னொரு ரெண்டுலேருந்து நாலு வருஷத்தில் தோராயமாக ஐம்பது ஐம்பதாயிரம் மக்கள் அங்கே தங்குற அளவுக்கு வசதி உருவாக்கணும்னு உறுதி எடுத்துருக்கிறோம் என்னத்துக்குன்னா இது ரொம்ப தேவை வந்துடும் இப்போது எதுக்கு இந்த தேவைன்னா ஒன்றும் பயிற்சி இன்னொன்று நம்ம ஆரோக்கியத்தை நோக்கம் நாம் ஆன்மீக நோக்கம் இன்னொன்று ஒரு ஒரு திறந்த ஒரு இடத்துல எல்லா நகரத்தில் போய் இப்படி சேர்ந்துக்கிற பதிலாக கொஞ்சம் திறந்த ஒரு இடத்துல இருந்தாலே இதுக்கு ஒரு ஒரு பதில் இருக்கும் இதில் இதனால் பலவிதமாக இருக்குது இப்போ என்ன பிளான் பண்ணுறது பிளான் பண்ணுறதுக்கு உங்களுக்கு சூழ்நிலை முழுமையாக புரிஞ்சுருக்கணும் சூழ்நிலை யாருக்கு புரியல முழுமையாக சும்மா எல்லோரும் ஒன்றுன்னு சொல்லிக்கிறாங்க முக்கியமானது என்னென்னா இது ரெண்டு வருஷம் இருக்க முடியும் நாலு வருஷம் இருக்க முடியும் ஆறு வருஷம் இருக்க முடியும் இல்லை நம்ம வாழ்க்கை முழுக்கமாக இருக்க முடியும் திரும்பி திரும்பி இது வர்றதுக்கு வாய்ப்பு இருக்குதுன்னு சொல்கிறாங்க இது நான் சொல்கிற விஷயம் இல்லை விஜானி இப்படி சொல்கிறாங்க இதனால் நான் இதுவரைக்கும் பேசினவங்க யாருக்கிட்டையும் உறுதியாக இது தான் தீர்வுன்னு சொல்கிற உறுதி யாருக்கும் இல்லை அந்த அறிவு யாருக்கும் இல்லை இதுவரைக்கும் எல்லாருமே எப்படி அட்ஜஸ்ட் பண்ணிக்கிறதுன்னு தான் சொல்லி வந்திருக்கிறாங்க இதனால் நாம் ஒன்று நம்ம உடல் ச பலப்படுத்தணும் இன்னொன்று விழிப்புணர்வாக இருக்கணும் இந்த இடைவெளி வச்சுக்கிறது மாஸ்க் போட்டுக்கிறது இது நாம் பார்த்துக்கணும் அதே நேரத்தில் நாம் செய்கிற வேலை எல்லாமே விட்டுட்டு சும்மா உட்காந்து கூடாது நம்ம செயலும் நாம் செஞ்சுக்கணும் எந்த அளவுக்கு முடியுமோ அந்த அளவுக்கு இன்னொருத்தருக்கு எப்படி நாம் உதவி பண்ணுறதுன்னு பார்க்கணும் நம்ம மனித தன்மைன்றது வெளியப்படுத்துறதுக்கு இது ஒரு நல்ல ஒரு சூழ்நிலை நமக்குள்ளே மனித தன்மைன்றது இருந்தால் இன்னொரு மனிதனுக்கு எப்படி நாம் பார்க்குறது இன்னொரு உயிர் எப்படி நாம் காப்பாற்றுறது எப்படி நாம் அதுக்கு உதவி கொடுக்குறது அன்ற உணர்வு நமக்கு எல்லாருக்குள்ளே வந்துடுச்சுன்னா நாம் இது வெற்றிகரமாக இதில் போக முடியும் இது வெற்றிகரமாக இதில் இந்த வெளியே வரணுன்னா விழிப்புணர்வு உடல் திருட உடல் உறுதி மனநிலையில் சமநிலையாக சந்தோஷமாக ஆனந்தமாக இருக்கணும் இது விஜானப்பூர்ணமாக எல்லாருமே சொல்லியிருக்கிறாங்க என்னென்னா எப்போ ஒரு மனிதன் ஒரு இனிமையான இனி இனிப்பான இன் ஒரு சமநிலையாக ஆனந்தமாக இருக்கிறாங்களோ அவருடைய உடல் இந்த எதிர்ப்பு சக்தி எல்லாமே நல்லா செயல்படுது இதனால் இந்த ஒரு மகத்தான நமக்கு ஒரு கஷ்டம் ஒரு செவ்வாலை நம்ம வாழ்க்கையில் வந்திருக்குது ஆனால் நாம் அமைதியாக ஆனந்தமாக அதை எதிர்த்து நாம் எப்படி இதிலேருந்து வெற்றிகரமாக வெளியே வருதுன்னு எல்லாருமே பார்க்கணும் எல்லாருடைய உதவி ஈடுபாடு இல்லாமல் இதை நாம் ஜெயிக்க முடியாது நம்ம தமிழ் மக்கள் இந்த உறுதி எடுத்து கட்டாயமாக இந்த தமிழ்நாட்டில் இது ரொம்ப பெரிய அளவுக்கு போகாமல் ரொம்ப உயிர் நஷ்டம் ஆகாமல் நாம் பார்த்துக்குறோன்ற உறுதி நாம் எடுத்து நாம் இதிலேருந்து வெளியே வரணும் இதுக்கு எந்த உதவி தேவை இருந்தாலும் யோகா மையத்துலேருந்து என்னென்ன செய்ய முடியுமோ எல்லாமே நாம் கட்டாயமாக கட்டாயமாக செய்வோம் உங்களுக்காக வால் மெனி ஆஃப் யூ ஹூ ஜஸ்ட் பிகினிங் டு டூ யோகா பிகாஸ் நவ் பேண்டமிக் இஸ் காம் சத்குரு ஐ கேம் டு யோர் ப்ரோக்ராம் ட்வெண்ட்டி இயர்ஸ் அகோ பட் ஐ டிஸ்கண்டினியூட் த ப்ராக்டிஸ் நவ் ஐ வாண்ட் டு ஸ்டார்ட் வி ஹவ் மெனி ரிக்வெஸ்ட் லைக் திஸ் well we been telling you in many ways but uh well this is the reality this happened all right a kangaroo from australia was visiting united states and uh, it called the emergency number 911 
And the other end, the emergency workers asked, what is the problem? They said, kangaroo said, I can't find my kids. Then uh, the emergency person at the other end said, have you checked your pockets? The kangaroo patted its pocket and said, oh, never mind. I want you to understand this, I've been telling you, in is the only way out. This is the time to understand this fully because only your responsible behavior can save your life and other lives. Let's make it happen. Hmm? Yes.